Good morning from the Brumalon this really beautiful Monday morning. I've been away from the dancing for one week, which was enough. I really missed it. Well, I did some very intensive physical things this week. So, <laughs> just because I'm crazy. Some more contact gardening. I'm like, I'm crazy. My neighbor, he was like, you were very strong. I was like, oh man, you should have seen it. <laughs> It was like it was like a big man job I did <laughs> in terms of in my garden. Anyway, I'm surprised I can still lift my arms. But um, so one week later, the last time I did the video post, I just finished my. Um, so that was not since on my face. I, I just completed um, my um, 72 days of dancing, and was feeling quite full of spirit. And as many of you know, if you've read my most recent blog, I had very upsetting news in the afternoon that my mortgage company had turned down my offer um, to, for payment um, in order to um, pay off my arrears. And so they're taking me to court, very unfortunately. Or whatever. You know, fortunate, unfortunate, it is what it is. You know, I have to, I have to, um, I have to take that and you know it's funny because like when it happened I was very upset because I thought oh gosh you know it's it's been um, a very difficult past three years for me you know in terms of within the context of on the practical side of my of my projects that I have um, not benefited financially as I might have and expected to largely and tried to <laughs> largely um, but I never let that stop me from doing what I thought was important ever and always it's the bigger picture with me because it's you know I don't have any time to waste within the context of using my gifts to contribute to a better world and that is absolutely my priority. That is my number one priority. And so, you know, this debt, which I don't want, um, I've always managed within the context of creating a tremendous amount of good in the world. And I'm, through that, have expanded my practice to even be better because had, had I had the financial resources, I wouldn't have started dancing outside, for example, which has has opened me up to a whole new possibility. And it also shows me, again, as I've, I've really, really felt the past few years, the inequity of our, our financial system. And it comes down to um, this idea of human capital, I think, is, is what I'll call it, for lack of a better phrase. And that's the fact that I haven't generated much financial capital in the past year, but what I've generated in the past, well, 15 years or a lifetime, is, is huge humanity and reminders of humanity. And I think that's more important now than ever before. So I've come up with an idea, <laughs> which I'm, I'm working out now, but I'm actually quite excited about it because what I'm gonna do, I was thinking about it and I, I've, I've danced over 250 days outside in the past, Hello! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they're, they're, they're clapping for me. <laughs> <laughs> and there is proof in the pudding on cue those guys on the boat were clapping for me because they saw me dancing earlier uh, so human capital human capital so I've danced over 250 days that is a regular experience in my life it's a regular experience where random people smile at me and I know it's because they've seen me dancing and I think that's, that's hugely important now because the turning and we turn on the news, it's, it's just tragedy after tragedy. And I'm like, what is it all about? We, I feel the need more than ever before to generate this human capital, to generate these reminders of humanity. And so what I've done, so 250 days of dancing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create, I am creating an online platform. I'm calling it Hope Dancing. And what I'm asking is for, um, 12,000 people to donate one pound each and for every 120 pounds or donors for under every 120 people that, that that sign up as it were that say I believe in hope dancing I will publish one story of hope as directly um, 
as, as directly experienced through my practice of dancing. Um, because so many unbelievable things have happened in the past year where this dancing has been a catalyst. Uh, here in this space directly by me and also in stories that I've heard after the fact. And I think it's really important within the context of our world to recognize that. And so at the end of it, well, there will be 100 stories of hope as, as created, as, as created it as, as this, this, this um, dance was catalyst for. And for every person who donates one pound, one pound, what they will also receive one pound off the p final published book of Hope Dancing. So in a way, yeah, I'm not making any money off of that. <laughs> Steve, one of my regulars, he's like, so you're not making any money off of that. And I'm like, no, but it's about human capital. It's about I need to do something that continues to generate that human capital. So bringing together these 12,000 people, 12,000 people that recognize that this is important and uh, stands up for that. And so, and for me, it's, it's about continuing that. So right now, um, I'm, I'm in the process of, of building that online presence, which I hope to have up in the next couple days. I am having some technical problems with it though. So if anyone out there can facilitate some online stuff for me, please do get in contact um, because uh, I've, I've run into a, a bit of a, a stopping point in regards to how um, to create the donor page, as it were, um, and the um, I can't do it through the charity sites, obviously, because I'm not a charity. Although using that kind of how they present it as a model, and I can't use things like Crowdfunder or Indiegogo or any of those um, sites because, which are online sites for individuals raising money for projects, because it's not it's not because it's it. What Crowdfunder responded to me, although they were very positive, was that it's too um, much about raising money because I'm in a bad financial way. Like, that's the way they saw it. So I can totally understand that. And it's, it's not a straightforward thing. So, well, you know, fine. Um, I do feel it needs to be a UK operation, though. I don't want it to be in dollars or euros. So that's the other thing. And although I can create it through PayPal, um, I think having a page where you can actually see the thermometer going up with the numbers and stuff like that is quite important. And also I feel like the um, ability for the donor to remain anonymous is quite important as well because there will be people who don't want me to know that have their details and will just want to give that pound. Um, so these, these things are quite important. So if you have any ideas or can facilitate that, that would be great. But I feel quite positive about it actually. So must get to work. <laughs> Those guys are standing there looking at me. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll see you later. Bye.